Lord, we come before you today and we want to lift up your name. We want to give you all the praise and all the glory. Lord, as we open up your word and as we approach it, sometimes things are not always clear. Sometimes, Lord, we may struggle with passages written to a particular context or a particular time that may seem distant to us. Lord, sometimes we may struggle with how we treat your word and what to do with it, but Lord, we ask that you would, your Holy Spirit, would help us to interpret it. Help us in our hearts to fully understand it, and in doing so, better understand you. When we approach your word, Lord, help us not to do so with any bias that we may have. Help us not to go at it with any preconceptions, but to look at the overarching theme of what you're having to say, what you're speaking to us and speak to us to you. Lord, help us to live lives that honour and glorify you, that we would be your servants, that men, women, whoever it may be, may be honoured and valued in your sight, because they are made in it. Help us to be true friends of you. Amen. Amen. As we come a little bit earlier today, it's been a busy week, um, to our final song, it's song number 817. Lord of the Church, we pray for our renewal. Christ who is over all, undivided in. We make that prayer, don't we, that God is over all. And actually, he would renew us, that we would be more like him. We invite you to stand as we sing song 817.